The people who like my YouTube channel are looking for greater health, better peace of mind, and great relationships. My name is Keith Allred. Today we're going to talk about antioxidant water. We're talking about hydrogen enhanced water. This is normal water that has been enhanced with hydrogen. Hydrogen is a part of water because you've got H2O, H2 meaning two molecules of hydrogen to one molecule of oxygen. And But what would happen if you put in some magnesium rods that collected the oxidants and now what you have is extra hydrogen in a form of a molecule called H2. So this is what I call my super H2 drink because it's got extra H2 in it. The, the oxygen molecules have been absorbed by the mixture that I have in this bottle and, and uh, those magnesium rods. So when I open this, since hydrogen is under, since it's a gas, it's going to evaporate. But right now I've got it under pressure because this stopper is holding the hydrogen into the bottle. And as soon as I open it, it's going to begin to release that gas. Now, interestingly enough, if I drink this right away, that hydrogen will get into my bloodstream. And those hydrogen molecule, well they're not molecules, well it is a molecule, H2 is a molecule, but the, they go out and become atoms, atomized, and that single hydrogen of, uh, adder, that single hydrogen molecule, atom, goes out and neutralizes harmful free radicals. Interestingly enough, it neutralizes the harmful free radicals which age us or kill our cells. So that, if you're interested in how antioxidants work, I have an entire video that talks about how antioxidants work. And I talk about this antioxidant and how it's the most powerful antioxidant on the planet. I mean, hydrogen is the smallest atom on the periodic table and it is super powerful. I've got over 700 articles from PubMed and other medical journals that talk about how this particular antioxidant has been helping people. And they've only really been using it since 2007. So that's not very long. Well, I'm going to go ahead and open it now. It will give a little pop. Not too bad. Just a little pop. And if you look at it, look at the bottle. At first, there was no bubbles, but now you can see there's little bubbles starting to come out of the water. You might think it's coming off the magnesium, but that's already happened. It's, the bubbles are coming out of the water because the hydrogen is suspended in the water. Woohoo! Now that tastes like mineral water. Very clean, very clear, very tasty. A lot of the taste has to do with the source water that I put in. The particular source water that I chose to use in this, sometimes I'll use my purifier machine which will put in purified water, but this particular bottle I just use regular tap water out of the faucet. And the magnesium absorbs any oxidants and also and and uh, and all of the I want to say all of the chlorine is absorbed by the magnesium but I haven't verified that and I want to be completely transparent here so uh, that is how you get your best best drink now interestingly enough I just wanted to tell you, these rods have been in this bottle for over a month and they have a lot of oxidants on there. Now this particular bottle, I just cleaned the rods 
And so they've only, they've been in there over a month too. Um, these rods I predict will last over a year, but right now uh, I'm going to open this one because they have been cleaned. So you can tell that that's a little bit more of a pop with the clean rods. And look at the amount of hydrogen that's coming out of that water. It's a lot more hydrogen. So the cleaner the rods, the faster they react and the more completely they react to making hydrogen. All right, so here's my, I'll drink about 32 ounces of this in the morning and then another 32 ounces later on. This is a 16 ounce bottle, so I guess it's not really 32 because I'm, each bar is probably taken out an ounce or more of liquid space. So it's probably only about 30, no, 28, somewhere in there. Obviously, you want to drink it right away. You don't want to wait. The longer you wait, then the more you're going to have, um, the more uh, hydrogen is going to evaporate out. Let me show you how to verify that this is really good water and how to verify that it has hydrogen in it. I've got a lot of different tools, and one of my tools is right here, and on my website you can get the hydrogen kits, you can also get um, looking for something, sorry, okay, so you can get the hydrogen kits and you can also get the test tools. Sorry, I'm distracted. Okay, the first test tool that I'm going to introduce to you is the ORP meter. It stands for Oxidation Reduction Potential. This is a cheap model, but it seems to do pretty good for, the need, for my needs. Um, the lower the number on this test equipment is better because the lower it means that it has more oxidation reduction potential. So if we go negative that means it's going to reduce oxidants in our body and if it stays positive that means it has oxidants that will increase the oxidation of our body. What oxidation is, is it's the rusting process of our body. So when you leave an old truck outside and, and its paint is starting to get rusty, it doesn't have to be a truck, any vehicle, um, starts to get rusty, that is oxidation. You can also see that on the paint, where the paint starts to flake off, or um, actually it's not really a flake off, it's more of a, it turns to powder. If you rub that on your hand on an old vehicle, you'll look at your fingers, there'll be a powder on there. That's oxidation. But that happens to our bodies and it happens to each individual cell. A free radical will attack a cell and if the cell is at all weak, it will kill that cell. And then your body has to replace that cell. Well, if that happens all the time because you're eating foods that are oxidizing you or you've got when you exercise, you also oxidize because you're breathing a lot, and we need your your body's going to have to replace those cells. Well, if you can slow down that oxidation process, your body doesn't have to replace as many cells, and that's good because now your body can spend its energy rebuilding some of the injuries that you've had over your life, whether it's be uh, an injured organ from toxicities or injured muscles, or injured um, brain tissue, well, yeah, absolutely. This, this particular antioxidant can pass through the blood-brain barrier because it's the smallest antioxidant on the planet, and it can neutralize the 
free radicals that are damaging your brain cells. So, okay, this is negative 132 on my ORP meter. And it may not sound like a huge lot, but at least it's negative. And this is really good. It is really good. My ORP meter isn't that accurate. I've, but it's negative 115, so about the same on that one. So that's how this one works. So you can verify that it's really good. And I put, should put it up against regular tap water. And I could also put it up against bottled water. So here's our tap water. I don't like to submerge it too much. Okay, here's our tap water. Let's just put the meter in that. And then I'm going to get the bottled water. Okay, yeah, we had a bottle of water. Okay, so this is positive 125, 130 now. When you stir it up, it mixes a little bit, so it gets a better reading. So now we're up to 140, 150. So this tap water is 150. I don't know what happened to my bottled water. 